uh, welcome back viewers in this video we will create customer model so then we can dump all our session card inside that order table so let's start come to here in customer then model and here i will create that customer model table so this will be class i will give it name of customer order and here I will just pass db dot model and then the first thing here I will write id equal to db dot column and this will be db dot integer and here primary key will be equal to true and then second thing here I will write uh, invoice this will be also DB column and I will make it DB string and this will be DB string of 20 and here I will just write unique equal to true and uh, nullable equal to false and I will just copy this one and paste it here then I will just change this name to be status this will be string and uh, 20 is ok and uh, here we don't need this unit will be true I will just make it here default equal to I'll write here pending and then I will just paste again this will be customer underscore ID here I will give it integer and we don't need this and unique I will make it false because the customer can have uh, more than one order then uh, again I will paste it here I will change this name as that underscore created and db this will be db date time date time and here we don't need this and i will just make here default this will be equal to date time dot utc now and nullable false it's okay then I will create here one another column. This will be orders. So what we have to do normally this will be db text. So what we can do we will create here one another class so then we can dump dictionary inside this column. So let's do it. First I will import here JSON and then I will come here create one another class this class name I will give it JSON encoded dict so here will be db dot type decorator variable and pl equal to db dot text then I will create here the methods this will be set value and this will take three arguments will be self then value then dialect here I will 
at if value is value is none then we are going to return a dictionary inside the quotation this dictionary else we will return here return json dot dumps and we will dump that value so second method here will be define I will give it name just get value and this method will also take three argument as a set method so self value and dialect and here I will give it if value is none so we will return here empty dictionary without quotation and else we will return here json dot loads value so now i will just simply copy this name and paste it here so our everything is done from here now now what i can do here i will just define double underscore wrapper and here we will write the argument of self and return we are going to return here our table name simply this table name here and then percentage r and then here we will write percentage self and whatever you want to return here so i will return invoice table is created so what i can do i will just come here db dot create all so this table will be created what i can do i will just come here to run.py and run the program so now our program is running i will just open my terminal and cd cd to desktop inside desktop is my shop and here is shop and if i do the ls here you can see here is our database so what i can do i will just write here sql light 3 then name of database dot db and now here if i write dot tables and now you can see our database table is created with underscore so it's okay if, if i write here now pragma and then table underscore info here i will just paste this name of order then semicolon and now you can see here is our database table so this table has this id this is an integer invoice this is a worker and status this is also worker and customer id integer and this is date time so now our customer table is created in next video we will insert order inside this table so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye